27 years of age, he's slightly taller. Obviously here he has what we'll call the age advantage, but very much the experience advantage over Viliane Tutone. Ready! Tutone Five. with uh, Batman on his trunks. The only starting in conventional. <laughs> that didn't last long. Oi. There you go, rattling the old Christmas presents early. No thank you, Santa. Tony finding his range. Just working there around the periphery. Good work from La Oli. Landing that body kick. Tony is just drifting into that left kick. Not the way you want to go against the big kicker like that. Looking to counter a lot though. Chin up from Tatoni. Needs to be cautious of that because Laoli can punch as well. Yeah, Tatoni just needs to do what he's doing. Move on the outside, find his range. Nice straight right hand there from Tatoni. Just step back in, catching Laoli, kicking. Unorthodox as well, not traditional with what he's throwing. Throwing a lot of right hand, leg kick, and left kick, a right kick rather, and then varying up that combination. Fast hands from Tutone. Halfway through this first round, he would have worked a lot on that counter with the straight right. And let's see now if Laoli can work on how he sets that up, show some variation. Well, he's adept at slipping that straight right, but he does need to be aware of the hooking right hand. Let's see if Tony picks up on it. Right about there. That was good work from Laoli. Showed the left hand, went downstairs to the back leg. Doubling up. Laoli, heavy shots. Good work from Tatoni. When he does throw, he throws in combination. And again, he stepped over with that right hand there. Just needs to be cautious with the chin up. Another right hand there. Tatoni finding that right hand quite frequently and clean there. Yeah, and that is just uh, waiting a little bit too long to get that left hand off. He's, he's not, I wouldn't say Nato Laul, he's found his range yet. So Tatuna is getting the better of it making Nato miss, picking his shots, but he can't stand, he can't do this, he can't stand in front of him too long. Yeah. Laoli trying to catch him with the looping left hand. One thing that Tutoni is doing well, he just didn't have his eye on that, but he, what he is doing well is he's coming back with something after he deflects the left kick. He's either coming back with the right hand or he's coming back with the right leg low. Stay there. Three-time finalist, Nato Lata Oli coming out of the red corner, the South Fork. Viliame Tutone, the Batman shorts going inside there. Another left kick there. Couldn't hurt La Oli. that was better from La Oli. just timed that left hand as Tutone came in. Wouldn't hurt him to just take a little bit of power off and uh, just set up the shots with a little more speed and a little less power. Yeah, I think that's what uh, Nato needs to do just a bit of higher volume. I feel like in that first round he was he was looking for the knockout. He was looking for the, the body kick to get him out of there, the punch to get him out of there. I think he just needs to, to land a few shots first, find his range, and then that knockout and that power will come. So Tony, of course, fought a few days ago. Good fight. He was involved in there, so he'll certainly be fit. Laoli stepping over with that left hand. Not a lot of artifice to what he's doing at this point. Not a lot of feints. Although that was a little better from him. Did that catch him off balance? It looked like the kick came through. And he got caught off balance. But uh, I'd like to see a replay on that later as he got touched on the chin on the way down. Good to see Laoli throw that straight left down the pipe. Right on cue there. Tony, he's reading well at the moment, Dan. 
Oh, he's, doing, he's listening to his corner perfectly, varying between the right hand and the right kick. And, and stealing the points back as well. I feel like uh, Tutoni has a better control of range. And, and when he draws out NATO's big, powerful shot and then gets his counters when he's scoring uh, at his best. It might not hurt that only he had another right hand there as he stepped in. Again, NATO sometimes he can be guilty of stepping straight in as well, not stepping his foot on the outside. That was a high right kick taken mostly on the shoulder. Nice slip and counter there from Tatuni, although Naoli hit him with the right hand afterwards. Just a clash of legs there. 44 seconds to go. He's keeping up the pace, and he's growing some confidence. Lead hand work there from Tatuni. Right hand, though, and chin up a little high. He needs to be very cautious. And ideally, not get caught against the ropes with nowhere to go. Tony in the Batman shorts. He is the heavy underdog, but he's putting on a superb performance against Nato Laoli. Doubling up, left kicks, right kicks, catching Laoli. Laoli's still looking for the big shot. A little bit ponderous on his way in. Let's go, last chance saloon, possibly one Fire round arms. apiece. Viliame Tatoni coming out of the blue corner, City League up. Nano Laoli, that's a good body kick he landed, catching Tatoni stepping away. Laoli needs to do some good work here, missing with the spinning back fist there. I think Nato just needs to get his hands on him, be a bit more physical, maybe maybe push him back into the ropes, push him back into the corner, and give him no option, give him nowhere to go, and then catch him on the break with either that overhand left or the left kick. Just got Grace with the left foot. Now he's starting to fire, landed the left uppercut there. Laoli landed low. He's still missing with that high left kick, though. Tony just starting to run out of steam. Doubling up with the left straight there. Laoli partially deflected, but he landed the kick afterwards. Tutoni answering back. Pressure now from Laoli. The volume has stopped coming back from Tutoni, and that has made a difference. I agree with you, Dan. He, he does need to get in. Remember, he started as a, as a tie fighter as well. Wouldn't even hurt him to put his hands on him and throw the left knee. Yeah, this and is here we go with the high right knee. Chin is up. Laoli now starting to break him down. Teeth to the body. That one hurt. Tatoni showing it. Big knee to the body. Now straight right hand there from Tatoni. Let it turn him. Big right hands there. Laoli is rough. Tatoni showing a heart of stone. Bombs away, boys. Bombs away. There's that knee, that one was taken on the elbow. Oh, I'm surprised the referee didn't call that one. Look, bear up the middle stump. <laughs> Tatoni's still firing in the corner. Laoli, he's got a minute to go, plenty of time. Breaking to Tatoni down. Straight right hand there from Tatoni. His corner's imploring him to get out of the corner. He is very, very tired. There's that left hand. Tatoni, though, he's fighting on fumes right now. Pure heart and intestinal fortitude. A little bit of uh, just setting traps in the corner. I'm shot. So Uli pushing on. Just the toughness of Tatoni that he hasn't, he's been able to keep on his feet is amazing. Well, you can't teach heart. Tatoni has plenty of it. He's eating some big shots, Laoli. Oi, was that the liver shot? It was. I think it was the left kick to the body. Just 10 seconds to go in the round. To Tony, he will want to see the end of the fight. The final bell.
Oh, there we go. And it could very well, depending on how the first two rounds have been, that eight count could have got Nato Laauli out of trouble. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find a majority draw. We're gonna go one more round. Here we go. go Look at the eyes of Pimiami to Tony. Let's see how to Tony goes. This is the extension. He has that body kick from Laoli. The right hand is dropped there from Tatoni. If I was his court, there's a big left hand. And another body kick. There's the knee. And let's see the count. He's grimacing heavily. Three, four, five. No one can question the heart of Viliame Tutone. Eight. Hands up. Go. Over. It took 24 seconds in the extension round. A brave performance from Zatoni. A telling performance from Laoli because he was probably behind in that fight. He needed the eight count. He found it when he needed it. And the pressure, the size, and the power in the end prevail. And Laoli, he goes through into the semi-finals. Ladies and gentlemen, with 37 seconds gone in the fourth and extra round, your referee, Clyde Cowley, calls a stop to this contest. For your winner, going on to the semi-finals, fighting out of the red corner, Nato Hornbrook, La Auli!